Welcome everyone, welcome to your practice. Let's take a couple breaths just to roll our mats out and to let everyone log on. Bringing yourself into your intentions. We're gonna make our way to a child's pose. Right, Katie Kansas helping me out today, curated our outfits. Melissa Ryan here to the left. Familiar faces, allow us to welcome you to your practice with an open heart and an open mind. We're gonna start a little differently today, making our way slowly to a child's pose. Come to your child's pose, remembering it's yogi's choice. So you can double your mat up, but we're gonna stay here for about 30 seconds. Allow yourself to settle in, opening the knees wide. Taking a deep breath, scanning the body. And as you exhale, just find that child's pose, the most comfortable child's pose you've ever been in. We're staying here for about 20 more breaths, allowing your heart to melt down towards your mat, connecting to the earth, connecting to your practice. As you scan the body with your breath, allow the breath to expand all corners of your body even the spaces that you don't even know. And in your child's pose, allow your hips to shift left and right. Allow the fingers to spread and the heart to melt. Stay here and find your flow of your breath. Find the oceanic sound of the waves. And continue to follow your breath here in child's pose, allowing everyone to log on. Let's connect to the music. We have Lucas bringing us some really, really yummy music. And coming into this practice with gratitude. Allowing your heart to be full of energy coming from your heart space. Allowing yourself to breathe out and connect, connect, connect to every cell of your human temple. Continue to breathe in with intention, finding that quality breath, that piranha that's gonna guide you through every pose that we go through today. Continue to follow your breath for 10 more breaths. Remembering that these intentions are for yourself. So I invite you to take a deep breath inward and fill up the stomach, fill up the ribs, fill up the back of the body and broaden even through your ribs and your eyebrows. As you exhale, exhale, release. Start walking your hands to the tip of the mat. Start making space in the shoulders by pulling your shoulder blades back down into the shoulder socket. Unclench the jaw and find that ebb and flow of the breath. 
slow steady inhales in filling up the stomach filling up the diaphragm as you exhale it's kind of like Darth Vader find that breath that's gonna guide you through I'm teaching an all-level class today so you're welcome to take it up a notch if you like or you're welcome to modify and take it down a notch we're gonna activate the side of the body by walking the hands to the right side of your mat so walk over to the right as deeply as possible drop the left hand on the right and you're gonna gently look under your left armpit breathe into the left side of your lungs inhale full breath inhale three here as you exhale melt down and roll the ribs up just a little more pushing the hip into the opposite side take one more breath relax the skin on the neck as you inhale and as you exhale let the heart melt just a little deeper and make a full breath making your way to the center and then it reaching out of your body and make your way over to the left. Reach out. Good. Feels really yummy, right? At home? We're starting slow today. We're going to start semi-sweet and go to spicy. <laughs> Look under your right armpit. Roll that lateral side of your body and breathe into the side body. Breathe into your lungs. Breathe into your solar plexus. As you exhale, release the energy, any stiffness down to the earth. Let the earth have it. Two more breaths right here. Deep inhale, filling up the side body. As you exhale, release the tension in the neck. Last breath here. Deep inhale, fill up. Slowly make your way back to the center. We're going to line ourselves up for a tabletop at first. And we're going to make this a little flow, connecting to your body, allowing that pranic breath to move you. So versus a cat and cow, come up to your shoulders over your fingertips. Your knees are hips width apart. Make sure your knees are comfortable. You can always double your mat up. Take a moment to check in with your wrists by lifting your right and left wrist, letting the shoulder blades go side to side. Smile while you do it, you're just warming up. Now let's activate the hands. Move the hands right and left side of the mat. And then soften the elbows, but let the shoulder blades move like a washing machine. Breathe, activate a cat and cow breath. Shift the hips right and left. It's a good place to start. We're gonna take a good 10 to 15 breaths here, just warming up and activating all the energy in your body. So as you move around, let my girls be some inspiration for you today. We are space inspired. <laughs> take a deep breath and drop the solar plexus down wherever you're at. Exhale round, but still keep shifting the weight wherever your body's calling for it. Eight more breaths, follow the breath. Inhale deeply into the stomach, filling up your heart space. As you exhale, switch directions if you haven't already. Go ahead and shift the weight a different direction, however it feels good for you. I invite you at home to close your eyes for your last five breaths. Any movement your body needs, moving the hands in and out, bending the elbows, possibly coming to the forearms feels really good. There's really no right and wrong way, but I just want you to warm up the body, round in the back, breathe. Smile while you do it, because you're doing yoga at home with us here at Space. Take a deep breath. Come back to your cat and cow. So this cat and cow is going to be a fun, active cat and cow. You're going to inhale, drop the stomach down. As you exhale, round your chin to your chest. Push back into your child's pose. You can let your knees be open or not, knees closed. Come back out. Go ahead and inhale out to your tabletop. Let your chin and chest come down slow to the mat so you're going to come down like a nice vinyasa here the vinyasa of choice but this one's with your knees go ahead and inhale to a baby cobra so that's a puppy pose where you're at inhale shoulders up hands up let the toes and pelvic bone press down exhale back to child's pose this is where there's a lot of creativity. So I'm gonna walk you through the first round and you can go for five rounds on your own. You're gonna take an inhale up into your cow. So let your belly come up into that tabletop, drop the stomach down to the earth, inhale. As you exhale, bring your chin and chest down, elbows in, yogi's choice if you like to go all the way. Inhale for a baby cobra, upper dog, sphinx pose is acceptable. As you exhale, child's pose. 
to round through the spine. So you're getting this nice movement in the spine like a wave. Find your breath. Inhale, child's pose. Coming up to your cow pose to the tabletop position. Dropping the stomach down. As you lower down, find your own flow. Lower down to the ground. Connect to the earth. Inhale, cobra, baby cobra. Upward dog. Look to the right. Look to the left. Exhale, nice and yummy. Round the spine. Go to child's pose. So it should feel really yummy. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Roll through. Come on in. Exhale. Child's pose. Good. Two more at your own pace. Feel super yummy. Go take your time. Inhale. One place. Exhale. The next. How you feeling, girls? Good? It's a nice warm-up. Move side to side. Round into the back. Spread the knees even more. Activate your hands. And on your last round, stay down in your child's pose. If you're just joining us, I welcome you to your practice. I invite you to take a deep breath inward, discovering all that space and uniqueness that's within us. Your practice is unique for you. So check in with yourself. If you need anything at any time during this practice, please meet yourself in a child's pose and honor that. It's your responsibility. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Fill it up. Let's sigh it out, girls. <sighs> Two more just like that. Deep inhale. Fill it up with positive vibrations to your whole entire universe inside you. Let it go from the back of the throat. <sighs> One more deep one, whatever you need to let go, just breathe it in, breathe it in, breathe it in. Breathe in trust to every cell of your whole body. Let it go. Good. I bet you that felt really good at home. Meet me in a tabletop. I want you to bring your shoulders over your fingertips so your hands are spread. You're going to take your right foot back, inhale option to bring up your left arm. You do not have to, but if you'd like to go into the full advanced pose, find your dressy point, pull between your hand and your foot, take a deep breath in. Exhale, tap and round. So it's preparing you for this. Make space in the body. Inhale, four more. Lengthen. As you exhale, contract, let it go. Deep inhale, warm it up here. Exhale, connect to the music. Find your heart space. Two more, right? Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hold this one. Squeeze it out. See if you can hold it for three. If you're shaking at home, you're doing it right for two. Squeeze a little more. For one, open up and expand here. We're gonna do our nice bind, so bend at your back, right knee. You're gonna roll your left arm around, reaching back for the outside of your hand. Now, you can maybe just tap your foot to your butt. You don't have to go all the way, but keep rolling your shoulder back. Look forward. Smile while you do it at home. You're starting with balancing. Life is about balancing. Deep breath in. As you release, release nice and slow. We're adding everything we've done in all the classes. We're going to go lateral. Here we go. Take your left arm to the left. Take your right foot over. Point your toes towards me a little bit. Lift in your IT band. Lift in your hip socket. Lift a little more. Breathe. I know it's hard at home. Smile makes everything better. Release. Shake it off. Whatever you need. A dancing lion. Dancing lion. Five breaths. Or a cat and cow. It's up your choice. Remembering to come into your alignments, your hands are under your shoulders. Inhale, solar plexus down. Exhale, round, but don't lock the elbows. Good. Swishing around into the body, making space. Three more breaths. Check in with yourself. How are you feeling at home? Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Cleanse it out through the throat. Ah, shake the head yes and no. Wiggle the hips a couple times. Find your tabletop. Don't ever think the process. You didn't learn to ride a bike overnight. Left leg back as you inhale. Yogi's choice. Right arm can come up as you inhale. If you like the counterbalance, take a breath to find your dristy point. Inhale, pull between your hand and your foot like I'm pulling you apart. Exhale, contract. Squeeze out anything that's been bothering you. Just let it go. Squeeze it out. 
connecting to the earth as you inhale, finding that center of gravity. As you exhale, squeezing out anything that's taking up space in the body that you don't need. Breathe, three more, inhale, lengthen, expand. Exhale, contract and squeeze, good. Inhale, lengthen and expand. Exhale, contract and squeeze. You've got one more and then you hold. Inhale, inhale, lengthen, expand. I might have gave you an extra one. That was just on purpose. Squeeze it out, girls. Squeeze. Squeeze it out at home. Hold for three, for two. If you're shaking, you're doing it right. Inhale, expand, but try to grip into the earth. Soften your elbow. Push through your armpit. Are you ready for the bind? Bend at your left knee. Roll that right shoulder behind you. Take it from your ear back into the socket. And then as you grab the back of the foot, if you can, if not, just keep trying to kick yourself in the butt. It's okay, you'll get there. Keep practicing with me. Five breaths here, are you ready? Look towards the front of the mat. Square your shoulders, square your hips. Now there's a little yummy adjustment here. Push your foot in your hand and keep that chest bone open. This is on your heart side, your left lung, breathe. Release, nice and slow. Remembering we're gonna go laterally. So try not to memorize that it was hard on the other side. Let that left leg go left. Let the toes point. Let that right arm go right. Kind of like a half of an airplane, right? Each side, pull and lift. You're stronger than you know. Release. Coming back to your cat and cow. Or just surrendering to a child's pose. But remembering to check in with yourself. This practice is for you. You came to love on yourself. So deep inhale. Deep exhale. Use that ujjayi breath to comb through the body. Four breaths right here. Deep inhale. Slow, steady exhale. Soften through the body. Smile and connect back to your breath, your heart space, and the music. Allowing yourself to move mindfully today. Exhale, empty the breath. Find that four-part breath. Two more in yogi's choice, child's pose, or downward dog. Move the jaw, unclench the jaw. Allow the ears to move. Spread the fingers, tuck the toes. You know we're going to downward dog on that exhale. Find those hips back. It's a unique downward dog because at space I like to make things a little more fun. So I want you to just bend the knees a lot and move the hips side to side to the music. So you're shifting your weight. Your alignments will come. What I want you to do is bend a lot, let the ribs come to the thighs. Four more breaths. And as you move the hip side to side, can you release the stiffness and locking of the arms? Push with strength but soften at the same time. Three more breaths, making movement. Your dristy point is your belly button, so look under for your belly button. Start looking for your knees, walk or dance the dog. Dancing the dog is special because it just means walking the dog, but we're doing it a special way, right? Move the ankles, come up to the toes and point side to side. Good, I want everyone to come and bend their knees. Come to your tippy toes, look up at the front of the mat. You're gonna inhale, make your way up as sexy as you can, slow. No one's watching you at home. Keep pushing the ground away. Everybody's watching us though, right? <laughs> inhale, roll yourselves up nice and slow, like you're coming up to the galaxies and the cosmos and you're just amazed at how much space we take up as humans. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to your heart. Open your feet as about as wide as your hips, and I want you to just start shifting your weight side to side. See if you can make a figure eight in your hips. We're gonna do a lot of figure eights today. Yeah. And then stop in the center and lead with the other hip. It's a little more tricky. Close your eyes, figure eights. Roll your shoulders back. Feels kind of good, doesn't it, girls? I hope it feels good for you at home, too. Take a deep breath, reach your arms up. And then exhale, fold down, bend a lot. We're gonna come to our chair pose. I know, nice and spicy, here we go. Inhale, hands swoop by Pachimama, arms reach up, get low as you can. Take the back and unarch it and tuck it forward. Bring your hands forward, you ready for this? Here we go, you're gonna move your hips side to side, but walk your shoulders back. 
Look for your toes and see if you can walk side to side. Now start reaching your arms up and the lower you go, if you wanna make it spicier, come to your toes. Come to your toes, breathe. Woo, come back up, inhale. Perfect song for that, right? How you feel? <laughs> Exhale, let it go, fold. Meet the earth. Inhale, flat back. As you exhale, let's do a forward fold again. Uttanasana, good. Chin to chest, look under for your shins. Let your head hang. Inhale, yogi's choice, vinyasa. Hands come to the mat. Walk back or jump back. Elbows stay in, whether you use your knees or not. As you come down, let the whole body rest to the earth. Cobra, upward dog. Inhale, let the shoulder blades kiss. Smile, yogis. Exhale, child's pose or downward dog. You have five breaths. So here we go. We're going to get a little more sweet and spicy now. Make sure you check in. Scan the body, mind, spirit, everything. The physical is already warm, we know. As you spread the fingers, they're like spider webs. You're going to let the eyes and the elbows face each other. Push. How's my girls feel? Good. We're going to start flowing. So right leg goes up on your inhale. You're gonna step through for a runner's lunge. So let that right leg come all the way through to the front. Foot's gonna be right under your chest and I want you to just rock back and forth here. Inhale, you're staying low. You can tripod on your fingers. See if you can kiss your shoulder blades up. Pull your belly button off your spine. Just stay here. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Inhale, forward, exhale, back. Come forward, take a twist. So you're gonna to twist towards your right leg. Your left hand's down and your right arm comes up. If it's easier, bring your knee down. Stay here for five breaths. I want you to reach and open the lungs. Breathe. Do three each direction. Girls, you feel good? Open those lungs, good. We have both options back here. So yogis at home, if you don't know, now switch directions if you haven't already. Make space, really open up into the shoulders. Breathe, love on yourself. Slowly as you come back, this is gonna be a fun transition. Tuck under to your lunge, walk your hand onto the inside, drop your foot back down to 90 degrees in the back. Let's all come up to a warrior two, nice and slow. Now when you come to your warrior two, I saw this from my friend Corbin. We're gonna fly somewhere, cause none of us can fly. Woo! And the music is coming, it's matching us. Where would you fly if you could fly anywhere right now? Since none of us can fly anywhere, would you go see your parents? Would you go, now do opposite. Ooh, yes, breathe. If you feel funny, it is funny. Just go with it. Get a little lower. Keep breathing and smiling, and then hold your warrior two. Y'all like that? Inhale, reach. Exhale, reverse. So as you reverse, you can hang out here. You can bring your hand around your back. You have three breaths. As you reach up, uncrunch the back. Get a little lower in your lunge. Breathe at home. As you come back to your warrior two, take a pause. Let's come on down. You like that, didn't you? Come on down. You can frame your foot for any vinyasa. If you do not feel like a vinyasa, then skip it. Come to a child's pose. Vinyasas of choice, keep those elbows in, please for me. Inhale, up, cobra, upward dog. Exhale, child's pose or downward dog. Five breaths, breathe. Shake your head, yes and no. No, it's so exciting to do something new. Remembering that we're working with all of your energy fields today. Come back to the most important part. Your most important job is your breath. The second is just to be kind to yourself and compassionate. So start spreading the fingers, tucking the toes, inhale, exhale, downward dog. Yes. As you take a deep breath in, allow the chest to get a little lower, allow the heels to push a little lower. Inhale, left leg goes up. Step it through for that nice high runner's lunge. So you're just gonna keep your leg back and straight. If, inhale forward, exhale, push through your heel, but you stay in your lunge. So lift your shoulder blades up. Yogis, if you wanna make it really hard, pull your belly button off your spine and don't even use your hands. Breathe. 
If you need to use your knee right here, it's acceptable. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Bring your hand onto the inside so we take a twist. Twist towards that left leg. Now Yogi's Choice, knee can come down. Do some circles, open up the lung on that left side where your heart is, open it. Three each way. Notice if you're holding tension in your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder. Then go a little lighter on that, okay? Do we do three each way? Perfect. Bring both hands in onto the inside. Prepare yourself. Your back heel goes down. You're preparing for warrior two as you inhale. Come up as fun as you like. Right? Now, can we fly? Don't think about it. It's a figure eight. Yeah. Right? It gives you something to think about. Get a little lower. Make sure your knee and your heel are in line. You're still making this. You can fly somewhere else. You have a one-way ticket to somewhere else. Right? Where would you go? Where would you girls go? <laughs> I know where I would go. I would go straight to paradise. <laughs> Inhale, reach. Reach as far as you can. Exhale, reverse that sun warrior. Get down low. Stay here for three breaths. Yes. Good music. Connect to the breath. Get a little lower. Reach and expand through your upper back. Back to warrior two. Nice and strong. Noticing how strong you are now that you got your one-way ticket. <laughs> come down. Find your vinyasa or choice or come to a downward dog. Good. Breathe. Wherever you're at, surrender to where you're at. Not where we want to be because we all want to be here doing yoga together. But just where you're at. So of Yogi's Choice, you have five more breaths, child's pose or downward dog. Breathe. Find that Darth Vader breath, that Yogi breath. Breathe in mindfully to every cell. Check in with all your organs. And as you exhale, start thinking about your transition to downward dog. Spread your fingers. Tuck your toes. Take a big smile. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. So we're going to have a little fun today. Right? Shake the head yes and no. Beautiful form, girls. I bet everyone at home is making me proud, too. I want you to give yourself a wider leg than your hips. Walk your feet in or your hands into your feet, and you're going to twist. So you take your right hand and grab your left ankle. Yeah. Ooh, feels so so good. I wish I could do it with you. Breathe. As you exhale, switch sides. Push. Make sure your knees are micro bent. If your back hurts, twist to the other side. Go to the left. Breathe. Ah, make that space in your neck. It feels really good. Walk back to the center. I want you to roll out to a high plank. As you roll out to your high plank, we're going to play a little bit. You ready for this? Oh, <laughs> this is fun. So you're gonna lift your right heel, but try to keep your shoulders square. You inhale, exhale, let that toe touch down. Inhale, left heel up, leg straight. You're literally flexing your foot, so you're using your core. This is preparing you for some of the balancing stuff we're gonna do. Bring your shoulders over your fingertips. Allow your fingertips to be spread right under your shoulders. You've got five on each side. So inhale, right heel up. If this is hard, you can come to your knees. No problem, you get stronger every time you practice. Left heel comes up, inhale, exhale. The slower you go, the more engaged. Belly button to spine. Look forward at the tip of your mat. I think you have about three more each side. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Hold your high plank. You're gonna tap each side. So you're gonna tap right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder. Oh yeah, you can also do this from your knees. Do this each side. To each side. Come slowly down to your stomach. You can use your knees. You're going to stay on your stomach. We're going to bring our hands by our side. So your hands flip up like a Superman. So by your side. Let your face go to one side and just surrender to the earth for a moment. Remembering to check in. We're going to warm up that lower back. You're going to lift up on your chest. Pill up pelvic bone to the mat. Toes can be down or you can lift up depending on how you feel. So you're going to inhale, rise. Exhale, release to the ground. Good, inhale, shoulders rise. Hands can now come around you if you like, girls. If you like to have it around, pull the shoulder blades together. Rise up, open that heart chakra. Breathe. 
Can you hold it for three? Yes. For two, pull the thumbs away from your glutes so you can get a little more space there. Pull those shoulders back from your collarbone. For two more, you're stronger than you know. Press towards the earth, finding your root down to the earth, planting those roots in just like last practice. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, release to the ground. Come to Sphinx Pose. So you're gonna bring your forearms to the mat. Your hands are under your shoulders and this part of your arm is gonna go down. Pull your shoulder blades back into the socket. Inhale, press up. Make space in those lungs and the top of the lungs. Feels good on the lower back. Push the toes down into the mat. Take three breaths in. If it feels better to go up and down, you can come up and down. Find your breath. Shoulders roll back, Sphinx pose. Gently make your way back to a child's pose. Inhale, exhale, roll through the spine. Good. Check in with the body. Ask yourself, how do you feel? Check in and allow yourself to be okay with where you're at. Allow the breath to be louder than the thoughts. Two more, child's pose. And then downward dog. Breathe, music is so good. Allow the music to make you feel flow coming into that flow state of the body. Inhale, 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 exhale, downward dog, no matter where you're at in your practice. We're gonna take that right foot up when you come to your downward dog, and we're just gonna do some circles here. So you're gonna bend at your knee, drop your foot behind you a little bit, just kind of hip, roll into that hip, open it up a little bit, and then circles three ways in, three big ones out. The slower you go, the better you'll feel. Even open and close the toes, crunch the feet, and allow the ankles to move at the same time. Slow movement in that hip, allowing yourself to bring some new blood into the hips. Breathe. Now this is where it comes a little fun. We're gonna take that three-legged dog, so let your leg go straight. We're gonna step through for a warrior one today. So step it all the way to the front. This is where your hips are square. Your back foot's 45 degrees. Bring your hands to your hips, pull your hips forward, but get lower in your lunge, right? We all have this nice, pretty arch these days. Tuck, roll your arms up. As you exhale, we're gonna interlick the hands behind us. Let your lunge become a little deeper and we're gonna fall in warrior. Shoulder blades together, get lower. Inhale, open that chest plate. Chin to chest, crown of head down, shoulder on the inside of your thigh. Watch the girls nice and slow. Honor your breath, you have five breaths here. You're squeezing the shoulder blades, you're dropping in the pelvic floor. The back of your left foot is knife edged into the ground. Use your skills of rooting yourself down in here. When you come up, you come up as slow as possible. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lock into that back foot, reach up and gracefully come to your warrior two. Ooh, right? Feels so good. Warrior two, as you come to warrior two, go ahead and make your way forward as you inhale. Exhale, reverse. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Come to your side angle pose. Bring in your elbow into the meaty part of your thigh. Bring your arm over. And let's just scoop and take up space as you're here. Allow yourself three breaths, both sides. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Switch directions if you haven't already. Get even lower in that lunge. There you go. You can drop your hand on the inside if you like, if you want to go deeper. I'm not telling you where to go. <laughs> Honor your body. Take one more breath in this extended side angle of whichever type you got. Allow your arm to reach over. Gently come back to your warrior two. We're gonna pivot our feet here into a wide-legged star pose. Yep, so your feet mindfully parallel. Bring your hands to your back. Take a deep inhale and lengthen up. As you exhale, fold. Shift the hips back, micro bend the knees and walk your hands in. Find the breath with the movement of the music a little bit. Shift side to side. Yeah, the other way. <laughs> Woo. No, you girls are perfect. Allow your head to shake it out. Costumes are beautiful. Thank you for this outer space. As you check in with your hamstrings, just notice how you feel on this side of the body. You can stay down here by bringing your elbows down to the ground, crown of the head down, or you can just grab for your ankles. 
Take deep, deep inhales here. Deep, deep exhales. Deep inhales. Deep exhales. Gently coming all the way back. I want you to roll yourselves up, inhale. Come back to your warrior two to the front. You're on your right leg. You're gonna mindfully, gently look forward. Think about a half moon. Walk your back foot in a little bit. Bring even your hand to your back left hip and allow yourself to engage. Before you fly up with your leg, let that whole body roll up. Looking up at your hand, this half moon can be done many ways. You don't always have to lift up, but flex into that foot. Flex and lift up with your lats as you reach up. Yes, good job, guys. Good job. Reach up. You're doing a great job at home. Give yourself some credit. I believe in you. Take a deep breath. Trust yourself. Balance. Now you're going to twist that half moon. So switch arms. Yes. You've got this. Good. Keep lifting into your heel. As you switch at home, even if you fall, give yourself some credit. You showed up. Remember you showed up. That's what matters. And then gently come back and come back to your warrior two. Take a moment to pause here. Possibly close your eyes. Find that strength that's within you. And then yogi's choice. Look forward. Nicely pivot to the front. Allow yourself to parallel the hands down. Push to your high plank. You can use your knees, chin and chest, or you can go straight to a child's pose. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. <sighs> Beautiful. Two more just like that at home. Breathe in through the nose. My girls, fill it up, fill it up. Positive energy. Breathe out through the back of the throat. Detox it out. <sighs> Beautiful, give me one more just like that at home. Deep inhale, fill up the ribs, fill up the stomach, fill up your solar plexus, fill up the whole body. Let it go. <sighs> Slowly make your way to a downward dog. If you're in a child's pose, inhale, spread your fingers. Exhale, tuck your toes, make your way to downward dog. Take a moment, take three breaths here in your downward dog. Remember, we're gonna do the left side now, so don't think about the right side, the masculine side. Shake the head, can you smile really big for me back here? Yeah? Left leg goes up, inhale. We start with circles. So three circles, any kind of circles you want. Don't judge whatever circle you decide. You're not gonna look like the girls, you're gonna look like you. And that's what makes yoga so special, is getting to know yourself. You can open and close the toes, point, flex the foot, breathe. Two more breaths wherever you're at. If you didn't switch directions, make sure you did that. <laughs> left leg goes the three-legged dog, so it's a left leg at three-legged dog. Step it through for warrior one. Nice and slow, drop that back heel down. As you rise up, square your hips, reach your arms up, engage, look up. As you exhale, come to a fallen warrior. Hands come behind you. Interlace your hands behind you. Good. Open that chest plate. Pull those thumbs away from your glutes. Perfect, girls. Take a big breath into your heart. As you exhale, fall in warrior. And let that left shoulder drop onto the inside of your leg. Let the chin come to your chest. And then roll it down. Get down in the pelvic floor. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades. As you exhale, soften. You have three more at home. Fall in warrior. Perfect. Make your way down just a little lower, just a little lower. Open up to your warrior two. Ooh, yummy. Good job, girls. Good job, looking good. Inhale, reach it forward, reach forward. Exhale, reverse. Inhale forward, come to your extended side angle. Make sure you open up your lungs. Drop that elbow into the meaty part of your thigh and not onto your kneecap. And try not to collapse, expand through the side of your body, reach over your head, and remembering you're opening your lungs, no matter what side you're on, that's the point. Opening up and making more space for oxygenated blood. Breathe, deep breath in, deep breath out. Get a little lower on that exhale. Deep breath in, breathing in mindfulness as you open up. Come back to your warrior two. This is where we transition into that half moon. So step your back foot in and just kind of step it in with grace. Let your toes, your feet engage into the earth. As you come into this side, I want you to find your focus point. Before you fly up, don't fly too fast. Lift up in your heel. Yes. When you lift up in your heel, then you can roll up into the side body like I'm putting you into a sliding glass wall. If you get five breaths, that's amazing. If you fall, come right back into it. 
engage into your lats. Pull up with the back of your hips. Breathe, lengthen at the same time. Now look up at your hand if you like to lose your balance. Take a deep breath in. Or you can make yourself stronger, basically. Now we twist that half moon. So don't even think about it. Your right hand comes down. Walk it out a little further and then lift up. It's really easy compared to the other side to me. Yes, good. Melissa's smiling at me. That means it's good. I hope you're laughing at home a little bit, too. Take a deep breath in. Gently make your way back gracefully to a warrior, too, no matter where you're at. <laughs> good job. Good job putting them to work today, putting you at work at home. You're stronger than you know, so pay, bring your feet and pivot them parallel. Girls, you can go ahead and just face the front, so yeah. Bring your hands to your hips and let's do some circles. Three each direction. Notice where you're still holding tension in the body. Notice where you can make space and soften. Switching to the other direction. Breathing louder than the thoughts, continuing to comb through the body like the ocean waves. We're gonna inhale arms up for this one. As you bring them down, you're gonna interlace them behind you. Good. Pull the shoulder blades back. Take a deep breath into your heart, open. As you exhale, fold down, hands are interlaced, shoulder blades are kissing, chin comes to chest. Breathe. And you can't hold this any longer. That's fine, just break your hands down to the mat. Walk your hips side to side. And this one we're gonna do just a little different. So for this one, we're gonna take a twist, walk your hands to the center, take a deep inhale. As you twist, we're gonna twist to the right. So you're gonna bring your left hand down and right arm up. Good. And as the girls are showing you, you can grab your ankle if you like, or you can just stay lifted. Micro bend the knees, walk your hand out a little bit and reach up even higher. Smile at home, everyone. Take a deep breath in the inhale. You have three breaths here. If you like to bind, you can bind here. You can bring that top arm around into your corner of your thigh. Keep your chest lifted so you're expanding and opening up. Breathe. Coming down to the center, grab your elbows, just ragdoll side to side. Now as you exhale, we're gonna switch to the sides. Bring your fingers here like you're doing a touchdown hut hut. And then let's twist to the other side, right hand down, left arm up, good. At home, switch sides, take a deep breath. As you're twisting, you're lifting up through the ribs and the lungs. You're expanding, your hamstrings are happy and warm, breathe. Two more, wherever you're at. Twist a little deeper, lift the chest a little more, square the hips. Exhale, drop down to the earth. Walk your feet a little wider. We're gonna go side to side here in a nice skandasana. So you can use your hands. You can come to your toes. I want you to get down low, breathe. Try to go five each direction. Possibly your heel goes down, you could open up. Walk, 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 walk the hands, or if you want to challenge, bring your hands to your heart. But connect, breathe, inhale. Exhale, get low. Let those shoulder blades kiss, look up and smile. You have about three more each side. Make sure you inhale and exhale. How are you girls feeling about this one, good? Yeah, right. <laughs> And then when you do complete this, walk the feet in just a little bit. Micro bend the knees, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise up. Ooh, did you get a little yoga high with me? Step it to the front, jump it all the way to the front. Let's shake it off a little bit. At home, shake the ankles, open and close. Roll the shoulders. And I want you to just come back to making figure eights. See how it is to make space, how much space you take up as a human. Breathe, switch directions if you haven't already. Ah, inhale, reach your arms up and around. Exhale, you're gonna come to touch the earth and we're gonna transition into a nice chair pose. <laughs> 
You knew I started like this, we were coming back here. So tuck the pelvis, look for your toes and sit back even deeper, lock your shoulder blades in. If you wanna make it spicy at home, squeeze your legs together, come up to your toes and let's dance our way all the way down. Slow, nice and slow. You can use your feet down. You don't always have to do the hardest. Make it all the way down at home, spicy. Let the butt touch, let the butt touch the heels, squeeze even tighter. Boat pose, ooh. Yeah, that was good, right? So we're gonna make sure we have form, tailbone touch the ground, roll those shoulder blades back, point your toes up, and let's dance the boat. Dance the boat, nice and slow. Make your way all the way down, all the way down, low boat, low boat, still dancing. We're rocking the boat, guys. We're rocking the boat until we can go out on a boat together. Deep breath in. Release down to your back. Give yourself a big stretch, reach your arms out. And then pull the knees in for a happy baby. Massage your lower back and just take a moment to remember what it was like to not have bills and responsibilities. Ooh, I don't even know if I remember that. Might age me. <laughs> take a deep breath and pull your shoulders to the mat. You're still rocking side to side with an option if you like to do a full happy baby. You don't have to put your shoulder under your thigh or anything or your foot in your mouth, but take about 10 breaths here and just be curious how it feels to rock side to side, letting the back of your body touch the mat, touch the earth, allowing the breath to slow back down. Breathe. Coming into that full breath, you can pull the knees in and give yourself a really big hug just showing up is the hardest part. And let's do a half bridge. So bring your feet down to the mat. Let the fingertips touch the back of the heels. Let your shoulder blades kiss the earth. And as you breathe in, press up into the pelvics, allow the pelvic bone to go up. We're gonna make like a wave in the body. So you expand through the spine. So you inhale, lift as far as you can and inhale more, inhale, lift, pelvic bone to the earth. As you exhale, each vertebrae slowly from the back of the neck, from the back of the brainstem, through the ribs, each vertebrae nice and slow to the earth kiss. Inhale, fill up, fill up, inhale, 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 pelvic bone goes up strong through the feet, push in the toes, engage, chest towards your chin. Exhale, exhale from the back of the brainstem through each vertebrae, down through the ribs, lowering down slow. Good, pause. Inhale, up, three more. Exhale, down. This last one, you inhale, lift up, lift up, lift up. You have an option to bring your hands together behind you. Push the shoulder blades together even more. Push the chest towards the chin and watch the belly breath. Inhale and exhale. Five breaths, yogi choice. If you like to do a full will, this is your chance. Make sure your mat's not slippery at home. You know what you're doing. I trust you there. Take a deep breath in. Stay in your half bridge. If not, engage like you have a beach ball in between your legs. Keep strong. Keep breathing. You're stronger than you know at home. Deep inhales. Making your way down on the next two breaths to the ground. As you come down, your feet are gonna be hips width apart. You're gonna do a figure four, right ankle over left knee. You have an option to grab through that little hole right there. Grab and pull your shin into your thigh, but make sure your hips are square. Or you can go ahead and straighten up on that left leg, up to the sky, break the hands away and grab the calf. But make sure that you're being kind and gentle to yourself. You're opening where we opened up through this practice. Deep inhales in. Deep exhales out. Smiling because you know it feels good. The nervous system is activated. The body is working for you and not against you. Breathe. Three more. Coming back to that ujjayi breath, your prana, filling up the body, honoring you showed up. 
Now you're gonna just do a gentle spinal twist. So whether it would let go of the leg and twist over towards the right side so you have your right knee in. Yeah. Well, right ankle is over right knee, so you should be twisting to the left, I guess. Yeah. Take a spinal twist <laughs> towards the left with that right knee. Breathe. Slowing down the body, allowing it to receive all the benefits of this practice. Slowing down the mind, allowing there to be space for creativity, new projects. Lengthen through the spine as you inhale. As you exhale, twist a little more, knowing it's yogi's choice. So if you'd like to go a little deeper, you can always grab for that back leg. Breathe. Yep, beautiful. Beautiful. Looking over that opposite shoulder, take two more wherever you're at. Remembering to honor your practice, honor yourself. As you come back to the center, pull that right knee in, pull your forehead to your right knee, let your left leg go straight. And then take a deep stretch here. You can hold the knee in or you can straighten up on that leg. And grabbing at the calf. Then release that leg down. Bring both feet to the mat. Left ankle over right knee. Take that nice hip stretch. Massage your kidney belt. Yogi's choice, so check in with the left side. All right, breathe. Breathe into the nose. Breathe out through the nose. Two more, and then we turn it into a, a twist, this time towards the right with the left knee. Good, breathe. Use that breath, comb through the body. Deep, deep inhales. And if you haven't already made it to the twist, drop that leg down and twist over to the left side, yeah? Take at least three breaths here, slowing down the body, slowing down the pace, focusing on your breath, focusing on your practice. Not where we're gonna eat after this. Not where we wish we were at. Breathe. Absorbing all of the benefits from this practice. Mm. If you went for a deeper stretch, make sure you grab that bottom leg. Breathe in. As you come back to the center, come in and pull that left knee in and let that right leg go straight. Pull that knee and forehead together and just be thankful we have our legs and our arms. Thankful for everything. Take a deeper stretch if you like to straighten the leg. And then I want you versus releasing, bring both arms and hands up, hands and legs and arms and wrists, everything up. Yeah, head on the back, head touches the ground. And now I want you to just open and close the fingers, start making movements into the wrist. And you're gonna do this for about 60 seconds, making all the blood in the arms, the feet, the legs, the lymphatic system in the legs, move and open the toes. And just close your eyes and move the knees a different direction. Move the wrist a different direction. Move the fingers, we're on the phone so much. And as you make your way down gently, finding that frequency of love to every cell of your body. Every cell, keep going, you might get a little numb. If you feel like you're really stiff, just shake it out a little bit. That works, that works, that works. You can pitter patter, you can write your name with your hands and your feet. You can actually now take your hands and your feet and I want you to tap your feet and your hands together. There's 72,000 neurons in there. Tap them together like this. Rub your feet together, rub your hands and your feet together. Tap them, rub them all together. Activate all those nerves in those feet and those hands. Activate them, make yourself super healthy. Rub even faster, rub even faster. Give yourself a big hug. Mm. You feel little tingles in your hands? It's a good trick. Breathe into your body, into your vessel, into your soul. Hold. Hold. 
melt slow as you can each part of your body that touches the earth slow let every part of your body make its way down the back of the shoulders the back of the hips even pull your chin into your chest and roll your neck down slowly Pull your right ear to your shoulder, breathe, and then roll it down. Left shoulder to ear, breathe, and then roll it down. Relax. Relax. Relax.
a deep breath out. Take a deep breath of love into every cell of your body. I want you to breathe in love, more love to the love. Open the mouth and detox out anything that's negative, anything that's not serving you. Start breathing into those parts of the body that we started with that you don't even think of, like your fingernails, your eyebrows, your gums. Breathe in with gratitude for every single molecule you have. Detox from the back of the throat as you're awakening, bringing inviting movement into the body. Start moving the wrist and pointing and flexing the toes. And just breathing in vitality and health into every single cell that's already full of love. Taking a deep stretch with your arms above your head, whatever the body is calling for, bending the knees. As you pull one knee in at a time, take your time. Roll over to the right side to fetal position. Plant your seeds here. Maybe you're having to reinvent yourself. Maybe you're in the unknown and you don't know, but right here, right now, this place that we all started, here with Pachi Mama, plant the seeds for yourself. Water those seeds with love, with faith. And just notice that we're always grabbing and taking things from the earth. So in order to, to plant those seeds and water and grow those things that you need, you have to be patient and kind to yourself and to earth. So setting yourself up into a nice meditative position, Sukhasana. Legs can be crossed. If it doesn't feel good, legs straight. Just come here and roll the shoulders a couple times, coming back into the body, kinder, softer, aware. Roll the spine right, roll the spine left. Reach those antennas out from your heart, those hands that we grab everything at, and as slow as you can, notice how much space, how much the space and how much we can grab and how much we're taking into our hands and just keep reaching up and lifting up and looking up and look in between those hands but divine those hands that have been here for us those hands that are on those phones bringing that to your third eye pause here connect to your senses Connect to your awareness. Connect to those intentions. Take a deep breath in mindfully. Bring those hands to your heart. Breathe out from the back of your throat. Let it go. <sighs> Bring in all those intentions and all those healing vibrations and love to every cell, bringing that into your heart and let's share that out to the universe that our communities, our families, our friends, to everything that needs us. May all beings feel this energy that I feel with you from home to here. Let's own deep inhale. yourself, filling yourself up with health, vitality, and safety, and protection, and reinventing yourself. That's fine. Creativity. Take a deep breath in with okay. Hum it inward. Hum. Filling 
every cell of your body. Bow your head down to the light that guided you here today. May the light continue to guide you. May you continue to show up on your mat. And may you share this practice with someone in need. Thank you, Space. Thank you, Link Miami Rebels. Thank you, Lucas, for the incredible yummy music that transcends us to another place. Thank you, Ricky, for helping us with this setup. Thank you, girls. Namaste. Namaste at home to your lineage that got you here to the yoga lineage. From our heart to yours, namaste.